Hi everybody, welcome back. If this is your first time watching, I am Debbie the Darling Deb is my YouTube channel and I talk about beauty, life with lupus, and lifestyle, whatever comes to my mind. I have not done a get ready with me for quite some time, so I'm going to do one. Usually these videos are a little long, so get yourself a snack or something to drink. I have my it's not decaf, it's the uh, iced sugar-free vanilla coffee. My sweet husband brought me this a little bit earlier and I've been kind of slowly drinking it. If you want to see how I did my natural curly hair and kind of gave it a little bit of zhuzh in the front, go over to my Instagram. I did some stories and a live video to show you. I've been trying to work more with my curly hair my hair is thinning, especially up on the top here. So the curls give it more thickness. I do still straighten it out sometimes, but the last week or so, I've just been enjoying playing with the natural texture. Okay, so let's get started. I have a, a mirror like right here. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. Um, I have rediscovered a foundation that I absolutely love. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Now, I'll be honest with you, this is one of the more expensive foundations. I believe it's like $62, but honestly, it is worth every single penny. It is such a beautiful finish, and I'll show that to you today, along with some other kind of favorites. So this is kind of like a favorites, current favorites, and get ready with me. I have my window open. I have a beautiful window that has lots of light in front of me and I think that's really the best way to do makeup. Um, I also have lights on my vanity that give me more light and uh, let's just get started and see how we how we do. All right the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little primer on and this is the original photo finish by Smashbox and this is smooth and blur. I don't use this all the time and I don't use this all over my face. I just go like around here where I have some pores that are larger. Now we all have pores. That's kind of how I guess our skin breathes for lack of a better word. But sometimes over age and time and if you haven't always taken care of your skin well, your pores will be enlarged and I have some like here and a little bit on my nose. So that's going to kind of help fill in the pores. And that's why it's really important to wash your face, take off that makeup really good at night because it does stay in your skin and then you got more to cover up. Okay, I'm going to shake the bottle. It's just something I always do. I've been taking like about a pump of it. Also love this because it has a pump. I don't know why some foundations come without a pump. This one is beautiful. I love the finish and it matches really good in my skin tone. I sort of have hard skin to match because I have light skin, but I have like a few undertones. I'm sort of like neutral where I'm in a little bit of like on the, the golden side and a little bit on the neutral, um, the red side. Now that doesn't count like the redness on the chin. That's just like reactive or because of uh, maybe medical conditions or you know your skin just gets redder there your undertone will be found like over here sometimes your neck but the the neck tends to get darker because it's exposed a lot where a lot of us wear sunscreen which I already put on um, I try to remember, and actually I do remember to put my sunscreen on every single day because it is really important. Okay, then I'm taking like a half a little pump and I'm going back here where I have some hyperpigmentation and a little bit of a um, vein that kind of pops out. And I'm going to put a little bit under my eyes. That's something that's kind of new to me. I saw uh, Marlena Stell, the makeup geek do that and I found that I don't have to use so much concealer when I do that. Right, now I'm going to take this sponge. This is by Wet n Wild and I absolutely love it. It costs like three or four ninety nine and you can use it over and over again. Wash it between use because you know it does get dirty and I just kind of push that foundation into my skin. 
sorry, but change of season, my allergies, allergies always like go crazy. And if you don't like sponges, you can take a nice blending brush, blend that in, and it gives a nice medium coverage. I don't want anything that's too uh, strong of a coverage because, um, I can't take concealer. It, I just don't like like a too perfect of a look, if that makes sense. Sorry, my nose just itches. Okay, I just got this Doll 10. It's the uh, Proven Beauty. Okay, what's it called? It's the Doll 10 TCE Concealer. I actually won a giveaway thanks to all that beauty with Lori. I think that's her name. I'll tag her down below. Just tiny, tiny bit. I want to give away and I got a uh, hundred dollars to use towards any purchase and this was one of the things I purchased. Now I've been putting concealer right in the center and I'm starting off with a little bit. I have been known to put too much concealer and then it gets cakey and I just I just don't like it. After a while, it'll get cakey, and it just looks horrible. It just makes my fine lines look even deeper than they are. Then I'm going to take a tiny bit more, and you can apply it with the little metal applicator, but I like to use my palm, or the back of my hand, I should say, as a palette. I have done that for years. If you look back on like my beginning videos, 10 years ago, you'll see that I, this has just been my palette here, back in my palm. I've tried other things, but I just like the way it works better. And as you can see, I'm putting a little bit on the outside. I'm not putting a ton because, you know, as we age, sometimes we do get those wrinkles and we get the darkness, but we don't want to make it look worse than it is, you know? The lighting's kind of getting a little dark. I hope that you can see that good. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave the skin for a little bit and start working. Or, yeah, I'm going to leave the base. Start working on my skin. Okay, this has been a favorite for so long. It's the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Face Sculpt Highlight. In the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. That's it. And it's in Fair Medium. That's the color. This is another product that costs a little bit more, but I've had it for a long time and I just love it. It puts such a good definition to my my face. Doesn't make it look flat. It kind of um, bronzes me up in a good way. You know, because I have uh, like light to medium skin, I can't use a bronzer that's real dark. And I don't really do like the contour, you know, contour, the contour where it's real harsh. I just kind of use it right on my cheekbone. And then there's a beautiful highlight, which I will take my fan brush if I can find it. There it is. It's a fan brush. And I'm going to take this, dab it in there, tap it off. And I'm going right on the tops of my cheeks. And so far, I'm doing good on time. It's only eight minutes, well, almost nine. And I put a little bit on the tip of my nose. Uh, I love Wayne Goss. He's a makeup artist in England, and that's like one of his pet peeves. But I just like the little bit of a pop on my nose. He doesn't like it, but I do. Sorry, Wayne. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with this palette. This is by Alamar Cosmetics, which is a uh, Latina brand. And it's the Color Red Blush Trio Fair Light. And I like to use these two colors together. I like to use two shades of blush because when we naturally blush, we're not one color. So it gives not a natural, but a more defined, just like a healthy glow. This is just beautiful. I, I've had this for a while. I got it in a... Uh, subscription box I think it was my boxy charm a while back but recently I went through my makeup see how pretty that is um, put a little bit more I went through my makeup and purged a lot of it there was so much there that I wasn't even using got a big bag for my niece and my sister-in-law next time I see them they got some new goodies 
Okay, now I'm going to go in with this Talk Flirty uh, palette by Morphe. This has been a favorite of mine. It has some beautiful, just like neutral, natural, whatever you want to say, colors. It has some pretty like purples and blues. I'm just going to do like a nude look. Taking this big fluffy brush and I'm going in with this kind of, it's like a beigey brown sort of on the, the cool tone. No, it's more warm. I'm sorry. Tap that brush off. Go right into my crease with my eye open. Always with the eye open. I have hooded lids, but I have a lot of space between my, my lash line and my eyebrow. So I'm lucky that way. But even if you don't have a lot, always do it with your eye open and go above that crease. The crease is right here. If I were to put that there, when I open my eye, you wouldn't see the color. And this also recedes the skin or it makes it look like it's receded. There. I'll go a little closer so you can see that. Um, next, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. I'm going to do some more detailed work. This is, I think, just an e.l.f. brush. And I'm going to go in with this color. It's sort of like a cocoa color that off and this one is nice because it has a nice big mirror to use too now i'm going to go into the top actually take a little bit more i'm going to go to the top outer corner and then go down and make like a outer v and you'll hear that often in videos outer v you're making a v that adds more de definition to your eye and I think it's a really good look for hooded eyes. Hooded or aging eyes. Now, a lot of people, um, they frown upon the word aging. Where well, I don't. I think that you make the best of it. And it's corny to say, but you are as young as you feel. Uh, there are many days in my life where I don't feel good. I have lupus, psoriatic arthritis. Uh, Sjogren's syndrome, which are all mixed connective tissue diseases. And, uh, you know, sometimes it just can be really hard, but I try to make the best of it. And I think that's the way it is with aging, too. Now, this is sort of a light cocoa color. And really, when you think about it, I'm lining the lower lash line while I'm on my soapbox about aging. <laughs> Uh, it's really a privilege to grow older. I'm sure everybody knows someone or several people in their lives that have not had the chance to get older. And I, if I could just speak for myself, I've become more confident with my age too. I will be 57 in a couple weeks and I'm looking forward to the future. Okay, I want to go and leave that alone for a little bit and go in with my Gimme Brow. I've always had really thick eyebrows, but they're starting to get a little sparse. And I love this. This is in the color 4. It's very easy. And I got one little gray hair there that I like to cover. Sometimes I pluck it out. And I just easily brush this over. It's not too overdone for my taste. But it just kind of darkens them and it gets those little areas that are a little sparse. And I just f feel a fit. I feel more put together. Just like that. Go so back to the eye. We're going to do an uh, eyeliner. And I think I'm going to. I should have taken out the one I wanted to use. And if you notice, I didn't use any um, eye primer. My eyeshadow personally stays really well. It'll stay like the whole day or whole night. Here's what I use. <clears throat> but if you have like oily or real dry eyelids, a primer is good to use before you put um, shadow on. And if you're looking for a good primer, I like this Milani one. It works really nice. Okay, I'm going to take this Stila 
uh, Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And kind of shake it up. What I like to do, and I've talked about this before, is I leave my eye open. Because I'm not really trying to change the shape of it, of my eye. And I just lightly, the side of it on this eye, go over the top. This one's a little different, and I guess it's because I'm left-handed. But I go like with the top, like I'm writing and line the top. And I got a little smudge, but that's okay. We'll just leave that for a little bit. You got a little walkiness to your eye should, to your eyeliner. That's okay. Nobody's perfect. Uh, I will leave that, and then later I'll I'll take a little cotton bud and take the the color, the eye smudge part of the eyeliner off. But like from here, you can't even see it. And if somebody's gonna be like in my face, mm -mm, too close. All right, let's um, curl my eyelashes. This is the Shiseido eye lash curler and I posted about this a while ago on my <clears throat> Instagram if you want to check it out it's at the darling Deb, just like my channel and I had my original one for 10 years this is one of the greatest beauty tools that I have ever purchased I just had to purchase a new one because it just wasn't working as well but I think 10 years is a good record or time to have a beauty tool this is one of my favorite mascaras talked about it so many times it's the extended play giga black lash too long of a name and it's by mac and i'm gonna go in put some mascara we all know how to do that try to do it quickly So yes, uh, fall is upon us, but I think in name only, it's still pretty warm here in Florida, still in the 80s. I think the nighttime will start getting a little cooler. We don't really get cold, cold till around maybe December, and some Decembers were like balmy 80. Uh, it depends on the year, really. I have lived here for since the beginning, early 90s, so I'm used to the weather. I don't think I could ever live where it's very cold. I grew up in the Chicagoland area and all that ice and snow, not so good. But I heard from one of my girls that they're going to have a mild winter, which I'm very happy to hear. I have lots of wonderful friends and family there and just want them to keep safe. And enjoy the winter. So just a couple coats of eye, uh, mascara. And now a lip. Ooh, what should we do? Oh, I got a Dow 10 lippy or lipstick with my little prize money. And it is called Let Go. You can see that. These lipsticks are really, really nice. They're very creamy and pigmented. I don't use a... Um, Lip liner, I think the definition of my lips is pretty good, and um, I just don't feel like I need one. And I use it, as they say, straight out of the bullet. Makeup artist, and some people that just love makeup like me, will take like a makeup, like a brush and use it, but I find it just easier to use the bullet. The bullet is this, <laughs> where the color is. And I sort of use the tip like a, a liner. But I'm pretty happy with the shape of them. I don't really want to change it. The last thing I'm gonna do, talked about this like a bazillion times, this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish. Uh, by Charlotte Tilbury and it's the powder in the color too and that like looks like a it'd be a one but her shades they run very light and I'm just going to powder 
the T-zone because that will get a little oily on me. I've been using a retinol serum and because retinol speeds up the, um, I have it right here and I can't remember what you call it. Well, it speeds up a thing. People are probably like, yeah, it's this, this. Anyway, it speeds up the process of exfoliation. So it kind of cleans my pores and I had oily skin when I was younger, so the oily skin is kind of coming back a little more, but I don't mind. I don't mind because I think that it gives me more of a dewy look, and I'd rather have a little bit oily than very dry. So that is the look. I hope that you like this. This was 20 minutes and a little bit more. Um, I am very glad to be doing a video today. I have uh, lots of energy, and that's the days that I like to come on and record. Uh, like I said, check out my Instagram. I always post stuff on there about life, beauty. Uh, I love stars and the moon. Sometimes you'll see like beautiful pictures of the moon and uh, stuff in and around where I live. Take care of yourselves. And if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It just helps me out. I This is my hobby. It's not my income. Um, but I just like to get around, meet more people. Get around? That doesn't sound good. Meet more people and uh, share more stuff and learn from you too. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.